Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a minute since uh, I've been able to do a video, and a uh, good reason for that. Uh, any of you that uh, follow my channel uh, know that several months ago, or maybe even a year, uh, I did like a uh, before picture tour of my comic room, and needless to say, it, uh, it was terrible. <laughs> so, you know, I've been just uh, doing some things here and there, and uh, finally I knew I was going to have some time off uh, you know, around Christmas, we have an annual shutdown. So I've been off since uh, Christmas Eve. And actually, I go back Monday, so it's taken me this long <laughs> to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, but, you know, it, it needs some tweaking here and there. And uh, But it's, uh, you know, it's pretty much the way I want it to be. So uh, let's just take a look. Uh, a lot of the stuff on the walls, uh, I know you've seen before. Phantasm posters, Planet of the Apes, uh, my Amityville poster I got signed by Margot Kidder. Uh, down here is a box of stuff. Uh, my wife is an eBay seller in the Facebook Marketplace, and this is some stuff she's going to try to sell for me. And of course, there's my uh, Tim Burton Planet of the Apes poster. It's huge. <laughs> okay, uh, some more apes posters. Sorry about the glare. Have the light on. The lighting is kind of bad in here. Okay, on the shelf, uh, got some books on uh, drawing comics and you know art books in general. A lot of this stuff I've saved and had since I was uh, ten years old. Uh, some sci-fi books back there. Star Trek. Uh, anatomy for the artist, some more sci-fi stuff, and all this is just uh, sketch pads and Bristol board and other stuff. Okay, the biggest change is uh, I built another shelf, or several shelves. Now there's my monkey's poster from the movie Head. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, put some new shelving in. I still need to put my tools away, obviously. Uh, but, you know, got everything on shelves. A few things need to be boxed back up. Uh, but I'm going to make some more room a little bit later on. There's a few things. Those uh, treasury size uh, Jack Kirby collectors. Need to get a couple boxes for those. And there's some posters in the corner. But, uh, you know, for the most part, that is the collection. Okay, you want to kind of swing around. I'm going to build a, probably a couple more little shelves just for some uh, miscellaneous stuff I have here. Uh, books on the Beatles and the Monkeys, Beach Boys, uh, some Phantasm stuff. Some record albums I need to put up. Okay, shelf right here. Uh, most of this is uh, Peanuts collectibles. Uh, stuff that I've had for years and haven't really had a chance to put out. Uh, there's some BC glasses. If you remember the BC comic strip, I think these were like premiums at uh, Hardy's a while back. Oh... And you can see some uh, more peanut stuff in here. And down here I have uh, shelves that have uh, the comic uh, overstreet price guides that I've saved over the years. I don't have all of them and, you know, I just kind of, I kept up with it for a while and i just kind of been buying them sporadically. Uh, okay, the next two shelves, uh, Fantagraphics put out a... Uh, started doing a series called the complete peanuts uh, kind of see the volumes uh, so I've got uh, from 1950 through 1990 and this reprints uh, every peanuts comic strip that was in the newspaper I think I need three volumes to complete it and it's all the later stuff so like I say just uh, peanut stuff uh, 
this and that. Okay, this is uh, my little rolling, I guess you'd call it tabaret, where I keep a lot of art supplies and keep stuff up here for my grandkids to color on, uh, different things. There's a label maker, pencil sharpeners, tape, whatever. And there's one of my digital photo frames, got some family photos in it. Uh, get around to the other side of the room, this is probably the biggest change. Uh, move my drawing table around. Just some stuff on there. One of my old pen and ink drawings. Uh, just practicing some inking. Uh, and there we have a commandy action figure and a tall man from the Phantasm movies. Uh, every other action figure I had that was in boxes for years is now on a shelf. So, but here's a uh, look up here. There's a mini movie poster uh, signed by Jim Kelly. If you remember, uh, he starred in Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. And there's a photo I have with him that was probably three or four months before he passed. Uh, William Shatner and myself. And these two or three are probably my favorites. Uh, this is Alan Bellman and his wife. They uh, He worked for Marvel Comics back in the 40s. Uh, Mike Grell and myself, and with Lou Ferrigno. This is some original art. Uh, this is a sketch by Frank Bruner. I think it's got uh, Doctor Strange and uh, Sandman fighting Cthulhu. There's a Neil Adams Batman print, an Alan Bellman print. My JLA, JSA print from uh, JLA 195, signed by the colorist, Tom Smith. A sketch I had Bob McLeod do uh, back at a con, Red Tornado and Vision. And here's a great original Aquaman piece that my buddy Steve, uh, Charlton 66, gifted me by Jim Califori. And there's uh, an original piece of uh, John Byrne art. Uh, from Superman Batman Generations. It's either two or three. The only reason I bought it was probably because it had like the little silhouette of uh, Omac in it. But that's the only page like original art I have. And of course my uh, Crisis on Infinite Earth poster by uh, George Perez and Alex Ross. And this thing here Key. Kind of tells you uh, who is who in the poster. Okay, get back and take a look. Uh, like I said the other side. Uh, this is going to be my little workstation. All these boxes I have under the table are, are to be sold. Uh, I think I've got to leave the guy at the comic shop is going to take them off my hands. I would probably give them to him, but he's going to he's going to pay me for them. <laughs> but. Uh, Mylars, bags and boards. Like I said, I'm going to probably build another shelf for those. And there's some uh, more stuff to go with that. have uh, maybe two little piles I have to reintegrate in the collection. There's my uh, booklet for my want list. And my stamp. A gift card that I have yet to spend. And this is a pile of uh, prints and... Uh, Stuff like that. I need to find a place for some of Not all of it's going to fit, but that's one that I haven't really hung yet. I got that from Neil Adams. Okay, my display shelf. Uh, see on the bottom, a bunch of paperbacks. Those are all the uh, Peanuts and BC paperbacks that I bought and saved and collected from the time I was probably 8 or 10 years old. So a lot of that, all this is peanuts and, and BC stuff, as is uh, most of the rest of it. Uh, back here, I got the, uh, the Joe Kubert correspondence course, all those booklets. And the rest of it was my favorite comic strip uh, collections, peanuts, uh, BC, Zitz, and uh, Calvin and Hobbes. 
There's some more Peanuts treasuries. The uh, This one here is the first one that my folks ever got me when I was probably 9 or 10 years old. Uh, I think this is, this is the same thing. It just I bought it, thought it was something different, but it was uh, you know same thing with a different cover. Like I say, most of this is Peanuts stuff. And I think most everybody's seen what else is uh, on the display case. Uh, you have some uh, tempo and pocket paperbacks. Got some mini comics. Uh, this is like some decoupage a friend of mine made. You know what I like the Avengers and JLA and the JSA. And so he made me these a while back. More uh, paperbacks. Superman puzzle book from 78. And all these are like uh, companion books. Uh, MLJ, Quality, All Star book on the DC implosion uh, just books on comics there's a collection of uh, Wednesday comics that DC put out a while back in hardback form uh, up top are all my uh, IDW artist editions uh, Jack Kirby Commandy uh, Joe Kubert Tarzan got some uh, Herb Trimpy Hulk and I forget what else is back there over here is uh, what treasuries DC and Marvel and back in this one are just assorted books on the comic artists there's Mike Plug, George Perez, Ditko uh, there's a uh, book that my buddy Eric gifted me Baby Boomer Comics some more Joe Kubert three or four Kirby books uh, some more Herb Trimpey, Alex Ross and you guys have seen pretty much everything I have on the display shelf as far as comics go. Uh, there's some DC Digests, uh, some issues of uh, Comic Reader, uh, Planet of the Apes paperbacks uh, based on the movies. And this is actually a uh, an audio cassette of Kingdom Come story. It's really nice. And these are the DVDs that go along with the uh, Joe Kubert Art School. Okay, and the biggest thing that I want to show uh, is I finally unboxed every action figure except for those I just showed. Hadn't built and or moved shelved around, shelves around, sorry. So uh, this is my Planet of the Apes shelf. Uh, collectibles, there's some books, uh, notebooks with uh, trading cards in them, uh, some rural models, some books. I have very few pieces of the original uh, Apes merchandise. I have uh, an old trash can. Okay, here's some uh, Ape stuff from several years ago from the originals. And I wasn't really a fan of the Tim Burton movie, but they, they did have some cool toys, so there's some characters from that. There's a DVD of the uh, animated Planet of the Apes series. Uh, soundtracks, uh, PlayStation and computer, Planet of the Ape games. There's a Planet of the Ape board game. Okay. And these little figures are uh, imports. You can see uh, Astronaut Brent and uh, the two mutants, the Gorilla Generals, uh, and of course the three Aponauts, Taylor back in his cage. Of course, have Lawgiver, Zero. Cornelius, uh, the spaceship, you know, Taylor and Nova have the little uh, girl driving the, the wagon to hold the humans. Uh, like I say, most of this stuff I've had 15 to 20 years and probably 95% of it just uh, got out of the box. So, uh, too much light. Okay. So these are, uh, I think these come from Medicom. They were like what they called ultra detailed figures. Uh, so you can see these are pretty much based on the actors, Charlton Heston. So this here is uh, Caesar, and over here is uh, Cornelius, his father, Nova, the lawgiver. The thing it was on these, uh, if you collected 18, then they would send you the, the 19th one free, and that's the uh, Statue of the Lawgiver. 
So this is the first time they've ever been out of the box. There's an ape from uh, Conquest. The ape and knots from uh, Escape. Uh, the helmets come off and show their faces. Have some soldier apes from the movies and the TV show in the back. Okay. And on the top shelf, I uh, can't remember the character's name. It was from the Tim Burton movie, but uh, there he is on a horse. Uh, there's Zero and Cornelius, uh, some original Migos. See those in the trash can, and that little cup right there is all I have of the original stuff. Um, so, but there's some stuff uh, still in the containers. There's Dr. Zayas, and there's a coffee cup. Uh, there's some uh, Funko Pops. Uh, magnet sets and this is sort of like a little diorama if you guys can see this uh, it's got the Statue of Liberty and a bag of sand and it's got a miniature tailor on a horse so you can set this up and it used to have a little recording which I need to put a new battery in it where it would say you idiots blew it up damn you all to hell you know the, the last scene from the movie so that is all of my ape stuff uh, so here, uh, I built a shelf for some DC action figures. I'm not really a, a big guy on Marvel stuff, but uh, just go from the bottom up. Uh, these are from the DC PVC sets. Uh, these are like the DC villains. The Justice League and Justice Society villains are pretty nice. See Solomon Grundy in the back. Uh, Silver Age Justice League set. I got the key and Felix Faust, Hal Jordan in the back. And you got the, the JSA. And you've got my uncle Red Tornado in this one. There you go. And these right here are uh, what they call pocket heroes. Uh, they came out with two series of these. And I bought as many as I could. They came out like late. 1990s or early 2000s some of them were sold like two two to a pack normally but then, then you would buy sets like the justice league batman superman green lantern and i think i've assembled everybody that was in my justice league from the 70s except uh, elongated man and zatanna which they did not make figures of okay uh, another favorite group uh, the crime syndicate and front and center, my favorite character, Commandy. Well, some of my favorite characters, Red Tornado, Omac, uh, Golden Age Hawkman in the back. Uh, this is a uh, Batman black and white set. Plus, on either side, these are two uh, promotional premiums uh, that they only sold at like uh, San Diego and uh, Wizard World Cons. Got those. Uh, there's a Legion of Superheroes PVC set. Legion Ring. Got the little uh, upside down spaceship. Those are headquarters. Okay. There's uh, my buddy's doing the apes thing for me. Uh, some more pocket heroes. Uh, some more Legion of Superheroes. Uh, more JSA. The uh, Wonder Woman figure. That was another uh, Comic Con premium. Those were like the hardest to find. So you got uh, most of the JSA, you got the shade, and Solomon Grundy in the back, and then you got the little cards that go with it. Uh, some more PVC stuff. Uh, this was a Smallville set. So you have Superboy, uh, Clark Kent, Ma and Pa Kent, Crypto, Lex Luthor, Lana Lang, uh, the Green Lantern Corps set. And the Flash family set. There's a board that has Captain America 100 on it. Okay, and last but not least, uh, here's a bookshelf. Got holds all my hardbacks, archives, uh, collected editions. Uh, you got the photo journal guide to comics. Uh, have uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths Ultimate Edition. JLA and Avengers, got Bernie Wrights and Frankenstein, some Archie and Planet Apes stuff, Steve Ditko, 
Okay, these other little figures, they were based on uh, the uh, Justice League animated show. And this is what they called the Justice Guild. You have uh, Tom Turbine in the back and the Streak, uh, Black Siren, and the Golden Guardsman. You know, and you can pretty much tell who they are. Uh, there's some more action figures. Those two pieces uh, came as like an extra piece on some of those packages and uh, you actually have to uh, collect the whole series so you can assemble the, the pieces <laughs> but uh, there you have the Shazam family and here's some more hardbacks uh, archives uh, you have Bane, Scarecrow, Clock King and Harley Quinn, you got Shade and Dr. Fate Legion of Superheroes, Doom Patrol, and these next two shelves are mostly all uh, DC Showcase Presents and uh, DC Archives. Collected all the uh, All-Star comics and all the Legion. I need to complete my Justice League one. Uh, the figures are, uh, are from Kingdom Come, as most of you know. And here's another row of Kingdom Come figures. And on this little top shelf is uh, more of the Pocket Heroes. You can see up there. So I just need uh, maybe three sets to complete uh, both series plus all the specials. And I'm going to put those on the ends when I, when I get them. So. Anyway guys, uh, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed. A lot more functional than it used to be, obviously. So, um, I guess I'll be showing you soon, or seeing you soon, uh, with some comics. All right, onward and upward.